we conclude tonight with uh, head coach Sean Clouston and Logan Stank Stankoven of the Kamloops Blazers. Uh, Marty, you have the first question. Yeah, Sean, how much do you feel for your guys right now? Yeah, it's a heartbreaker. Um, you know, there's you know players like Logan next to me that have you know put their heart and soul into it for four years, and you know we've accomplished a ton. Um, we had four division championships. You know, we had a good run last year, couldn't quite get there. Good run this year and couldn't quite get there, and it's it's. It's similar. I mean, the guys fought hard today, really fought hard. I thought the game got away from us a little bit in the second period. But just, it's a heartbreaker, I feel, for the guys. They put a lot into it. It's kind of a unique group that's gone through COVID as well. Um, extended kind of meeting there in the room. What did you say to them? Uh, just that I appreciate everything they did. They're an awesome group, great guys. Just, just thanks, thanks for everything. I think, you know, I think the group has uh, represented the the community well. Um, you know, we haven't had any any concerns away from the rink. They're dedicated. Um, they were, you know, it's a really fun group to coach. And just, just hold them that, and to hold their heads up. Logan, you. That's probably it for you here. It's your hometown. I saw you skating off the ice, um, drinking in the moment. But what was going through your mind? Uh, just feels weird because you know, I've spent the last five years here in my hometown, and yeah, a lot of those guys I've got to know really well over the past few years. So um, yeah, it's just I don't think it's hit me yet that yeah, this is probably my last game here. The Stillman hit seemed to change things. Um, what's your take on, on how that impacted the game and, and uh, the pushback after that? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it was more just us not sticking to the game plan. Uh, took a couple penalties, maybe changed the flow of the game. So um, we can't have let-ups like that. But yeah, it's, it's hard to say that now. Just one more for me, uh, Sean, on the 20s. It's a, it's a grinding group of 20s, a uh, special group of 20s, just just some thoughts on them. Yeah, heart and soul guys, hardworking guys, character guys, you know, they'll, all three of them compete and battle and work and work and work, so I mean, yeah, just a, a great group, you know, three guys that you love to have, three guys that, you know, laid it, laid it all on the line. Uh, Logan, I know it's probably tough now, but as a sports fan, uh, that third period in overtime were unbelievable to watch up until the final puck went in. What was it like to be part of that game and the third period in overtime? Uh, I honestly had a lot of fun up until then. Um, it's always fun when it's a close game. And um, yeah, I thought we can kind of controlled much of the or more of the possession in, in overtime. We just couldn't put it away. and. Uh, it's a fun game, game to be a part of, but obviously it would have been nice to be on the other side of it. Yeah, for Sean or Logan. Um, second periods didn't really treat you guys so well this whole tournament. Was there anything you saw different that you guys were doing in the second period throughout the tournament than the other periods? <clears throat> playing championship teams, we're playing really good teams, and I think that uh, it, it takes your absolute best and, and – you know, for different reasons. You know, a little bit of puck management at times. Um, it's it's hard it's hard to to stay in the battle and stay in the battle and stay in the battle. And you know, hats off to you know to to, to the other three champion teams. I mean, they're 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 awesome teams. They they make it really hard. You know, and you know, I think. You know, the other message in there was, you know, we, we can all learn from it, you know, so we can learn from that. Um, you know, these are young athletes that, you know, are going to go on and play pro, and it, it hurts a ton right now. But a lot of times, that's where you can, you can, 
you can learn and grow the most. So I, I, I think, you know, Logan and, you know, the rest of the group eventually will, will, will use this. Um, probably hasn't you know really sunk in because you just keep coaching and coaching and coaching. You don't want to look too far ahead. You know, in the back of my, back of my mind, I was really looking forward to one more shot at at Seattle. I, you know, we didn't we didn't play our best game, and I, and I think there was more there. And um, so that's that's. That's disappointing. Um, I, I feel for the guys. It's not really about. It's not really about the coaches. I think the coaches are there to 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 help the players, to to prepare the players, and it's that's to me the biggest disappointment to see. You know how how hard it, you know the guys took it. Be a last one. And I know you said it's more about the players, but is there like a certain level of attachment that you have to certain groups that kind of makes it more painful to have a certain finish like this? It usually takes me a day or two to, you know, to, you know, really get to the emotions, you know, but that question did it. Um, yeah. You know, I've been, I came here four years ago. Logan had played a little bit as a 15-year-old, so I mean, the, the, there, I think there's five guys in there that we've spent four years together, so, um, you know, they'll probably say I'm hard sometimes and, 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 you know, push them, but I, you know, I really respect Logan and I, I respect the whole group and it's hard when you, when you get close and you don't qu quite get to where you want to get to, so yeah, I, it's 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 a great group, really, really great group to work with.